is a water well storage tank. I don't know who set up this water well storage tank, but they did it wrong. And I'm going to show you what they did wrong setting up their water well storage tank. First of all, whoever did this should have asked the people who they put doing the well for because it's on flat. It's not much above the house. You want your tank higher than your house if you can do it. You may want to haul in a few truckloads of dirt. Then you, that way you get more water pressure to your house. But you install a water pressure regulator so you don't blow the pipes in your house. Now I'm going to show you. See? Now they got a leak. Okay? Because the contractor who set up this water well tank failed to install a shutoff valve at the tank. There should be a shutoff valve. Now to fix that leak we gotta drain all the water out of the tank. We should not have to do that. We would not have done that if they would have shut, put a shutoff valve right here at the tank. See they put a valve here to get hook up uh, a fire hose. You got another one here. You hook up your garden hose, whatever for a fire hose. So you got a valve here and a valve there. Let me show you how you how do you tell if a valve is on or off. See how it goes to the side? That means the valve is off. Now if this handle was straight in line with this section like this, okay, I mean the valve is on. So anyways, if someone's going to install your, uh, a water well tank in for you, make sure they put a shutoff valve right here at the tank. Now we got to take all this apart. You know, people don't got a lot of money. So now it's all volunteers to help them fix it. So... The reason I know there should be a shutoff valve here, I used to work around the oil field and the company I worked for, we used to make mud to shut down, they could plug off, cap off oil wells. But anyway, else, we, on our tanks, we had a shutoff valve right here. This way we could hook up trucks to right at the tank, pull the material, and not only that, see now we got to drain all the tank. All this here, it was good ideas, but they failed to do the shutoff valve. You're going to install a water well tank, storage tank to your house, put a shutoff valve at the bottom of the tank. And like I said, haul in some dirt if you got flat land, or if you got a hill next to your house, make sure you, you may want to put that on top of that hill. Like I said, install a water pressure regulator so you don't blow the pipes in your house. A long time ago, mobile homes were built in a, uh, that, the PVC pipe they used was all defected and it all leaked and blow up. There was a huge lawsuit over that. Anyhow, the water well, from the, the water from the storage tank come up here as hose comes up to the booster pump and gives you more pressure to the house even runs in to the this pipe here to the bladder tank and I guess I believe from the bladder tank it goes to the house that little valve right there they pump air in there they pump air in this tank for some reason it doesn't have a gauge up there I guess the gauge is down here so it tells you how much pressure you can increase your water pressure by putting a little, some air in there but uh, the wrong way is setting up your water well storage tank. Now there's companies you can go to LA and have all this piping made up. They can make it special for you if you need it. They know how to do all the threading, make all kinds of stuff if you needed it custom built. So I don't know what that is, but See, there should be a, more than one shutoff valves. Right here's one. 
maybe there should have been one down there. So one guy used to work for a water well, he hopes they don't lose maybe the prime to the main well. But I think it might be alright. But anyhow, just say if your uh your pump quits working on you and you need to, you can install a swimming pool pump. Okay? And that'll, that'll give you pressure if you need it. So, anyways, yeah, like those little shut-off valves, if you had fire sprinklers set up around your property, all you had to do is connect to those sprinklers and, and pump, gravity pressure, since it's just water going out, it worked fine in case your pump shut out, shut off. So anyways, yeah, try to mount your water well storage tank higher than your house. This way you get a lot more pressure, gallons per minute. So, all this got to be taken apart and redone. I mean, they had the common sense putting a shut off valve there and there. But they didn't have the common sense putting a shut off valve at the tank.